Next, because uh, also Soto Nito from Brazil, uh, Sao Paulo, University of Sao Paulo in Brazil. Uh, his presentation is uh, HO, H2 to determine safe exposure levels using nine uh, invasive biomarks of oxidative stress. I'll say. Working with the characterization of functional circadian oscillators in the long node hypocampus Haiti, evaluating the expression of clock genes and opsins and the importance in, in the seahorse color change at the University of Sao Paulo. But today I'm here to present some data obtained at the LAPEC under the guidance of the professor Yerese Rosa. And the, the presentation's title is Behavioral Responses as Biomarkers to Oxidative Stress by Hydrogen Peroxide in the Long Node Seahorse Hippocampus Haiti. So any living organism kept in captivity is already subject to stress. And conceptually, the stress can be characterized according to alterations presented by the organisms in some stress response. Uh, in primary and secondary stress responses, we observe physiological and biochemical changes, for example, increased levels of, of cortisol in plasma glucose, or also induction of hypnosuppression, especially when the stress is chronic. So, other alterations are general, generally considered as 30 high stress response, and they are characterized by changes in the whole body of the animals, as for example, changes in growth, disease resistance, decrease in fecundity, and of course, uh, behavioral changes. Talking about specifically, talking specifically about hippocampus Haiti, or also known as the long snowed seahorse. It's one of the three seahorse species that occurs here in Brazil, in addition with Hippocampus pedagonicus and Hippocampus erectus. And it's currently, Hippocampus haiti is currently under near treatment status according to UCN, mainly due to the loss and degradation of its preferred habitats here in Brazil, especially for bycatch and by being targeted for aquarium trades. About its distribution and Hippocampus Haiti inhabits coastal waters in the Western Atlantic from North Carolina South, along the US throughout the Gulf of Mexico and Caribe and along South America to Southern Brazil. How tall it's listed on the second appendix of, it, of CITS that aims to regulate international trade to be sustainable. And Hippocampus Hades cultivation here in Brazil as an alternative, of course, to the captures in the wild is still a decent possibility. In part, because since 2010, the government launched a management plan that was not put in place until now. We lack of effective protocols for this species and because of disease. Diseases are the main cause of high mortality, hate in captivity, seahorse. And usually disease treatments involve the use of toxic substance that pollute the environment. And in this scenario, uh, hydrogen peroxide is a less polluting alternative compared to other treatments. However, the use in seahorse cultivation had not been tested until now. Talking a little more about the hydrogen peroxide, it's widely, widely used in fish aquaculture to prevent and control some pathogenic diseases. And especially because it has a rapid degradation in the presence of organic matter, aeration and biofilters. So 
could it be an alternative treatment as a low toxic waste aquaculture waste? Uh, but while it seems to be like a good option with low environmental impact in terms of wastewater, uh, it still may lead to oxidative stress, which cause, for example, DNA damage and peroxidation of membrane lipids, for example. So with this information, important issues arise. What is the tolerance by hypocomsaidi and other seahorses by hydrogen peroxide exposure? What is the impact on the seahorse and how to access the oxidative stress in a non-invasive way. So, based on that, we test the use of hydrogen peroxide as an alternative, as an oxidative stressor in captive bred seahorses, using behavioral shifts as in stress indicators for hippocampus Haiti. So, we recorded and analyzed the behavior of 28 individuals submitted to four different concentrations as you can see here in the graphical abstract, for treatments with increasing concentration of hydrogen peroxide and the control group without hydrogen peroxide. And during these 60 minutes, we record and analyze some behaviors. For example, the locomotion time, the hold time, or when the individuals are displaying benthic behavior, are attached to the substrate, the opercular bit height, and the stress behaviors displayed by the individuals. So here are some of the results. We have the locomotion time in the time that the individuals were attached to the substrate or hold the whole time. And after one hour of exposure, we, we saw that all control animals spend almost 100% of the time at rest for displaying benthic behavior. And more than 60% of the, mm -hmm. the time that, that they are attached to the substrat. Whereas the all the animals of the treatments that were exposed to hydrogen peroxide show a change in the in that behavior in these behaviors in comparison to the control group. Here we have the opercular bit height. Oh sorry, that that graphic and per minute and the other three are the stress behaviors that we quantified and it's important to highlight that all stress behavior analyzed commonly are and were commonly described for the teleos fish only appeared in the presence of hydrogen peroxide as you can see in the highlight. And the opercular bit height, this first graphic, was increased with increasing concentrations and we observed a direct relationship between the increasing bits and the stress level of the, the seahorse. For other works, uh, it's already described that the increase in cortisol levels, it has a relationship with the increase of peculiar bit height. So it's a, a behavioral key to, to access the, the level of stress in the animal.
Finally, we evaluated the animal's weight gain or loss 13 days after the experiments. And all seahorses of the control group gained weight after 30 days of treatment, while there was weight loss for the exposed animals. animals. All the exposed animals uh, showed weight loss after the, the exposure, following a dose dependent curve response following the hydrogen peroxide concentration. In addition, uh, concentrations above 10.9 millimoles were considered lethal because half of the individuals uh, death after the exposure in that concentration. So we have some take home messages and conclusions. We consider that hydrogen peroxide has potential to be used in medicine treatments, bath for hippocampus Haiti. It's where in the tested concentrations that we use it, it can be already effective for against cyanobacteria, green algae, and diatoms with other works has demonstrated it. The exposure to concentrations below 10.9 millimoles are safe for periods of no longer than 60 minutes and behavioral represents repres two as biomarkers to oxidative stress and an alternative to the use of invasive techniques uh, only needed for physiological works. I, is that I want to thank your time and my lab colleagues and the, also the financial financial organs of Brazil, CAPS and CNPq. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, uh, Jose. Uh, any question regarding his research? Any question from online? 